ACCA Global dot com under the menu students under students again sub menu study resources under study resources ACCA qualification under ACCA qualification financial management under financial management all the things are there now I am concerned with a specimen exam after a specimen if anybody you can see that here I can also register you all can also register in this practice platform there are further mock papers given practice platform there is a webinar also for this coming 7 to 8 days for different different subjects by the ACCA institutes you can register here so that you will get the intimation of the webinar directly in your mail because we are having a webinar today at around 1:30 or 2 o'clock for helping the student how they can use the practice platform better so that is webinar with us today is the last webinar for last continuous 10 days there is every day webinar by the institute for you can say training providers and now the series of webinar will be starting for coming 10 days for students so you can go here you will be getting so many things you can say mock test in the practice platform also i am not going there for the time being my objective is what to make you understand good morning good morning to make you understand that exactly how we can increase our speed in the exam because it's not that everything we need to solve on calculator there are many things in the excel which we can do and which those who are working already must be doing but if you find those technique you will find very handy which you need to practice in coming one month at the same time revision of the syllabus through the mocks there is one mock paper given CBE specimen. There are two mocks given when you go in the practice platform. So institute is giving three mocks. I will be giving two more mocks. One mock each sub chapter related questions. You can say there are 20 chapters odd. In every chapter to revise there are questions. Theory numerical. I will be sharing two three days. And one is mock which is just like exam mock. So you can see that there are in total five mocks CB specimen in the practice test when you go there are two mocks I will be giving you two more mocks one mock relating to chapter wise and the another mock relating to just like exam standard what we should be doing that the CB specimen mocks I am doing in the class but the other mocks you should be doing on your own in a way that three hours you will be doing the entire mock mock does not means that you will be doing some of the questions only part a or b you will be doing entire mock in three hours on your own on the screen and it is all the things which will be there in the exam when you will be giving exam remote basis by sitting in home all the functionalities are there in the mock so that you will get the feeling also that you are sitting in the exam so suppose today is 11th somebody or i will say everybody should try a mock say around 15th whether your syllabus is complete or not that's immaterial because topic wise study time is gone so say suppose on 15th you will be giving a mock in three hours thinking that you are sitting in exam after the mock is over the suggested answer there only analyze you will be finding that these are my weak areas these are the areas which i have studied cannot do or i have not studied properly then you will revise those stuff in five days then again you will give a mock on 28th again you will find that the improvement are there but still you can say that either the speed is somewhere you are taking more time so that you will practice again in two three days you will again revise what are the areas your weak areas you will give third mock by 25th fourth mock by 38th and then you can say in the last uh, seven eight days whenever is your exam then in the last seven days one one more mock along with the revision now we should not be studying topic wise because 
exam question will not be topic wise if you are doing party then party one question will be from this area another question from that area if you are doing part c also in one question they are mixing so many topics so we need to see that whether we can handle all the things at a time and this time it's you can say good thing that generally if i teach one subject then we generally start mocks after 28th we start around 25th so we get the time to do the mocks say around 10 12 days like when i will be doing the new subject from september and the exam will be in december then i will be finishing the syllabus by november around 22nd 23rd and the exam will be say december 5th or say 6th december so we get the time to do the mock papers 10 12 days only but this time since there was no exam in june so we are getting a more time to do the mocks so i can see that we are getting ample of time and we should be utilizing this time in the right direction because generally i have seen that out of 100 99 student 99 i can say 100 percent they don't do mocks they are doing papers but they are doing the question paper one by one they are doing the question paper topic wise they go on studying topic wise till the day of exam and they are never trying the mock papers for that reason their speed will be less because it's just that the exam in home it's just that one change is there you are not given for working copy pen that you cannot write somewhere you need to use a scratch pad otherwise everything functionality same what was earlier in cb exam that is there so these are the two changes but the students are maybe having knowledge have studied but they couldn't able to do the complete the paper in the exam because their practice is lagging because they are not doing the mock papers in three hours so i ask generally in every term to students that they should be doing at least two mock papers but this time we should be doing four or five mock papers because we are getting more time the study should be done from now onwards topic wise gone you need to study entirely on the mock papers so that you are getting different different questions from different different topic one by one how much you can think so one month is there to prepare properly to improve our weak areas that thinking you will be getting at the same time when i will be doing the mock paper there are many things which can do which we can do in the excel sheet where we don't have to use calculator npb irr average calculation sum power everything you can use calculator you can use excel function also in the exam to do those things faster it's upon you how you are feeling comfortable which requires practice and for practice one month is there fully so the objective of the first mock paper is going through the different syllabus area also and at the same time knowing the functionality of excel which is allowed in the exam even though we know already but something you will come to know later you can use mouse why not in the do's and don't do's in the faqs still you have not read in the faqs all the question answers are written so i will advise again every student need to use the faqs do's and don't do's for the cb exam remote based whatever is given on the institute website i am not going there but don't do this thing that on the day of exam you are asking some question which is you can say you should be knowing at least one and a half month before the exam so even though in do's and don't do's 90 percent we know but 10 percent we don't know we should be reading what we can do what we cannot do that's the request to everybody it's a freely available on institute website when you received the remote exam there also every faqs was written please read them that's the request from my side hath jodkar folded hands that whatever you can do in remote exam whatever you cannot do please read once please read once so i am going into that paper the specimen paper specimen means exactly in the exam hall hall in the sense in your remote exam the paper will open like this you are getting 3 hours and 15 minutes 15 minutes you are getting for reading the instructions now these instruction the student will be getting 15 minutes but according to me the students would read these instructions now only i am not reading in the class because it will be waste of time we are doing mock paper first time at least one time we should read the instructions what they are saying 
I am skipping all those instructions. All these instructions, students should be reading at least once in life. So that what you can do, what functionality will be working, what will not be working, you will be able to see. Now they are saying that they are starting section A, which is of 15 marks, 15 questions, 2 marks each, 30 marks. Now today my intention or objective is to tell you certain things relating to Excel which you can apply. You will find very handy to save your time in the exam. So initially I want to go into straight away section C. If we get time then we will be going into A and B also. But if we don't get time the focus today is on section C. Now for a few seconds I am removing myself. I am behind but I am not showing myself. In the exam, there is a navigation panel. When you click the navigation panel, all the questions are there at a time. It's not that you need to do first question first. You can do any question which you like. Now, which section we should be doing in the exam earlier, section A or B or C? There are two types of things. Those who have not studied properly, they will be going generally into A and B. Because Jai Matadi, they will be selecting any option and then they will be going into section C. But those who have studied well, generally they want to go straight away to section C. Now in section C, when you were doing earlier, you need to have a time frame that I should be doing section C in the given time allowed. If something I will not be able to do, I will not waste my time. So 100 marks, 180 minutes. I am saying that generally 30 minutes will be going. Generally 30 minutes will be going in reading the all the entire paper anywhere, wherever part C, A, B questions reading. So we are effectively going to get in 100 marks writing 150 minutes. One mark, 1 1.5 minute. That means for part C, 40 marks. 40 into 1.5, 60 minutes. But then I am excluding the 30 minutes for reading anywhere. So you can see that along with the reading, you can take 70-75 minutes maximum in part C. If you are in exam hall, there is a question you are doing on part C initially. When the two parts are there, part C, there are two questions, 20-20 marks. You need to solve each question in around 35 to 40 minutes maximum. 40 is actually maximum. The 35 to 40 minutes you should be taking. Not more than that. Along with reading, writing the answers. You can take one or two minutes here and there. But in place of 35 minutes, if in a question you are taking 55-60 minutes, definitely you will not be able to complete the paper. You will be leaving in the exam 10 marks, 15 marks or maybe something you were not able to do properly. So don't do that. These all things you will be getting the feeling when you will do more and more mock papers. Normally, I always say that a student should be doing at least, at least two mock papers exactly in three hours. But my this thing, 99% student don't accept. They go on studying topic wise, question wise, exam kit only. They don't do mock paper on the website, on the screen and they are not feeling comfortable in the exam hall. The same thing should not happen again. Even though I am saying so many times, but why? Why? Whenever I talk with the students, you have mock paper, kiya tha, sir, nahi kiya tha. Kyu nahi kiya? Sir, I have time hi nahi mila. I was just studying topic wise only. So, abhi to ek mahina baki hai. I am saying, even though your topic wise study is not yet complete, leave that. The most important part now is to start study mock paper wise on the institute website, everything. On the screen, everything. Not from the exam kit, not from the study text. When you do a mock paper, in three hours. After that, wherever your weak areas are there, you will be going into exam kit or study text. Again, you will improve yourself and then again you will give exam next mock after five days. That should be the process for coming 30 days before the exam. If I want to pass, if I want to score good marks as compared to other in both the situation. So I am going in part C not because I am advising part C. Generally, my advice is students should be doing part C in exam earlier. In maximum one hour, one hour, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, that maximum. Then you go into part A and B. 
and in part A and B, whichever question you can do, that you should be doing earlier. You can say that have a target of part A and B, that in next up till two and a half hour, that is one hour, 15 minutes gone. So further one hour, 15 minutes, you should be doing those questions in part A and B that you know like this. And in the last half an hour, you will be again concentrating on the areas which are tricky. But in two and a half hour, you should be going through the entire paper. Somebody can do another strategy doing party and B earlier. But party and B earlier means you should be doing those questions which you know straight away. Say out of party 15 questions, 5 questions you know like this. In part B out of 3 questions, 1 question you know like this. When you know like this, that means you are doing it very fast. So 5 question 10 marks, 5 question 10 marks. 20 marks you will be able to score in half an hour only. To pass you require 50. 20 marks is already there in half an hour. Go into part C. Maybe in part C one question you can do very fast. 20 minutes. That 20 marks. That you can score say 14, 15 marks. Now your one hour is gone. One hour at 10 minutes. And you are already through to the pass. Around 35, 40 marks already there in your pocket. You can feel that at that time. Further two hours is left. And I need to score just to pass only 10 marks. That means I am going to score very heavy in the exam. 70, 80s. Or maybe if I am very good when I have studied very well, then I score one rank one also. So for that reason, your initial time in the exam hall should be going only on the things which you know. But you don't know whether part C you know, whether B you know, whether A you know. So you should be going through all the things initially. Not that you are not solving. But you should be doing all the things initially which you can do very fast. Now, every student has different criteria, different strong areas. So, I cannot comment that this is easy, this is difficult. In every topic, difficult question, easy question can be there. And remember one thing, whatever you are doing in exam kit, on screen, on mock paper, nothing will be repeated in the exam. Everything will be new. You are doing for practice. Not that the same question will be coming in the exam. Not a single marks question will be repeated in the exam. So for that reason, don't do the mock paper with that mentality. The same question is going to come. But if you are doing the mock papers, ultimately you are revising the entire syllabus. Ultimately you are checking your speed. Ultimately you are making friendly that how to work on the screen faster. That thing you are doing, you are revising. But when your revision is good, then definitely the results will be very good in exam. So exam strategy, whether you do A and B first, whether you see changes, it's upon you, which one is easy area. But you need to do initially one hour, those things which are very simple for you. In one hour, you should be scoring 40 marks already. So balance two hour. Now though nobody can make you fail. So that tension is over. Now in balance two hour, whatever you can score more and more, you can take a call. But if you go on doing the topic wise study is still coming 5, 10, 15 days and you will ask in the message, sir, abhi nahi complete hua, nahi bolna hai. I am saying in the class, ki if even though your topic wise study is not completed, still start doing the mock papers and do the topic wise study after doing the mock papers on the basis of weak areas. Because the time has come that we need to go into next gear. If we still running the car at 1 or 2 or 3 gear, it will not be working. We have to go in 4 and 5th gear so that we can speed our car. That is my advice as you can say understanding about ACCA course and ACCA thing that we should be doing mock paper. If you are doing two exams, if you are giving, study both the subjects daily. That's try. If you are working, obviously most of the students are working. One subject one day, another subject another day. Not that you study one subject for 10 days and then another subject for next 10 days. That's the problem area that when we go for exam, more than one exam that creates problem is during this time, not earlier. When we, start, when we studied PM and FM earlier, there was no problem. But when the exam comes, the problem arises at that time only. So for that reason, for everybody who are giving more than one exam, two exam, three exam, if you are not working, then study both the subject, all the three subjects daily. If you are working, then one by one day. One day this, one day another subject, then again this that way. Because then in that case, everything will be there in your brain. 
because that problem happens in indian courses we are giving one exam one group four subjects two group eight subjects so they are puzzled during the time of exam that which one they study which one they leave but don't do here the same strategy again this will become indian course only even though the pass percentage is 40 50% but you will make it zero so it is not the way of study that you study one subject for 15 20 days and then you do another subject because another you will do the first one you will forget so on the day of exam your preparation is not good so if you are giving more than one paper you need to study all the subjects regularly so that everything will be in your mind fresh when you will be going for the exam okay in future also if i am trying to give in december two exams the problem is not there now in the month of november the problem will arise at that time you need to study both the subjects regularly you can study now for december exam one subject for 10 days another subject for 10 days that is possible but when the exam is coming everything should be studied regularly whatever may be the issues but this is the only way by which we can clear two subjects or score good marks in two subjects so i am going into part c straight away through the navigation why we are doing part c earlier not that my suggestion is we will be doing part c in the exam earlier that is not the reason for doing part c so that i will be able to explain you some functions of excel which you will like that you can do in the exam for saving your time and at the same time you can see we are starting with part c so double thing so when you will be doing mock paper on your own you will be trying those functionality in the excel which is available and you will be trying to save your time in the exam you will have the practice in advance for that reason this feature is there in the exam since first of all i will be reading the stuff then only i can read about the questions so for that reason first of all i have increased the screen size relating to the part where the question is there the scenario relates to three requirements that means relating to this there are three questions i think not an issue vip company a large stock exchange listed company is evaluating an investment proposal to manufacture product w33 so the company is a listed company maybe there is a theoretical question where we need to concentrate on this area they are a listed company when we are reading a question the concentration should be 500% not only 100 so that when i will be doing the answer i don't have to read the question again so while reading i can take one minute two minutes more but then after it, when i will be writing the answer every time i will be going into the question that is not allowed so from first language only my concentration should be focused in exam the focus is more but now the focus is less but try to think that you are in the exam hall we company a large stock exchange listed company it's a very big company say reliance is evaluating an investment proposal they are evaluating a proposal investment that means it is going into npb irr most probably to manufacture product w33 which has performed well in la in test marketing trials conducted recently by the company's research and development division maybe the company is developing medicine for corona and in the test marketing the results are very good when they did the research and development at that time they did the test marketing that is very good that means the world will be getting that medicine and the corona free very good just for understanding purpose it is not a corona product w33 will be manufactured using a fully automated process so human beings required will be very less everything will be done through machines mostly which would significantly increase noise levels from b company's factory because the workers those who are working they will be thinking that when the company will be doing this project they don't require us so they will be leaving us how we will be earning our living so that the factory the problem with the laborers has already arises product w33 will be manufactured using a fully automated process which would significantly increase noise levels from b company if we go in this project whether npb is positive or negative but it is going to create problem with the laborers 
the following information relating to this investment proposal has now been prepared so they are giving the numerical details relating to the project investment will be 2 million dollar selling price current price current price terms that means definitely there is some working on inflation they are saying selling price today is 20 dollar but you are not going to sell the product today you are going to sell first year second year third year fourth year every day but whenever we do investment cash flow calculation we think whatever will arise during a year at the end of first year whatever will arise during second year at the end of second year the cash flows are calculated with year wise break up they are saying 20 dollar is the current price expected selling price inflation 3% that means after one year the sale price will be 20 into 1.03 second year into 1.03 third year into 1.03 and so on variable operating cost again current price 8 dollar fixed operating cost current price 170000 expected operating cost inflation 4% that means for variable cost for fixed cost for both the cost the inflation is 4% that means the inflation in respect of expenses will be more than inflation in respect of sales revenue that means it's a product where you can say elasticity is high where if we increase the prices the demand will be less we are not able to cover the inflation in the cost with the inflation in the sales that's not a good thing but that is the case they have written the research and development division has prepared the following demand forecast as a result of its test marketing trials if i will concentrate on figures 2 million is the investment 20 is the selling price 3% is the inflation for selling price 8 is the variable cost 170 is the fixed cost 4% is the inflation for cost when i will be doing the answer and i need to go again and again what is investment what is 20 what is 8 that means where i am neither i am able to concentrate on reading the english neither i am able to concentrate on figures i need to see every figure again and again that will increase your time you need to when you were doing the mock papers you need to increase this skill that when you start reading the question try to do the calculation try to remember the thing so that you don't need to see the question again and again that's a different art if i am in the class and i am thinking everything other than this question then i cannot pass then i cannot understand my concentration should be 100% on the question the research and development division has prepared the following demand forecast as a result of its test marketing trials that means the r&d division is forecasting this is the sales going to be the forecast reflects expected technological changes and its affects on the anticipated life cycle of product w33 the forecast reflects expected technological changes we are developing something there may be change in the technology then and its effect on the anticipated life cycle life cycle even though we don't study here we study in pm project management but what is the period for which we can able to sell the product so they have considered the effect of technological changes life cycle because of sale price quantity competitor market everything they have considered in estimating this demand the quantity are 60 70 1 lakh 20 and 45000 now somewhere they have given million somewhere they are giving per unit somewhere they are giving thousands you need to be clear in your mind when you will be writing figures what you are going to use million thousands full figure i will never do the calculation in full figures i don't like laddus so in my in this question generally if i am there in the exam hall i will relieve all the three laddus i will be taking the quantity 60 70 120 45 45 then i will multiply with the sale price sale value in thousands similarly the initial investment i will be taking in thousands so 20 million means 20 lakh 1 million 10 lakh 20 million 20 lakh in indians you can say if you exclude three zeros then how many zeros will be there if you write investment 2 million because this also creates a problem in the exam when we are not doing this in our regular working because when we are studying through exam kit through topic wise we are not looking at these areas but in the exam these areas create problem i have said many times in the class that when i gave ca inter exam ca inter i am talking about 1996 approximately 
25 years back there was a question on ratio calculation current ratio quick ratio and all that the figures are in trillions laddus and all that i was doing the question which should have been done in 5 minutes i did that question in 25 minutes even though correct but in calculator i was taking laddus more less and all that odd figures we are coming then i was rubbing it doing this again but why i was not deleting the laddus this is my experience 25 years back i am saying in 1996 when i gave ca inter exam that means we need to be very clear in our write up that how many zeros million trillion thousands what we will be using all these will affect your time all these will affect your calculation so 2 million 20 million actually six zeros three zeros eliminated so 2000 initial investment will be 2000 quantity will be 60 70 120 45 40, quantity will be relevant for multiplying with the selling price quantity will be relevant for multiplying with variable cost fixed cost fixed just it will increase because of inflation it is expected that all units of product w33 produced will be sold out now they don't have to say generally we don't find questions in exams where we are forecasting that production in year 1 production in year 2 will be this and sale will be different that we find in a costing costing paper budgeting production budget and all that in finance paper the production is equal to sale they are just saying googly we have to assume in line with the company's policy of keeping no inventory of finished goods no terminal value but actually the inventory will be there you cannot be god that 60000 units you are forecasting sale you will produce 60 you will sell 60 maybe you produce 60 sale is 58 only whenever we are forecasting anything we cannot be god we have certain limitations in the forecasting so policy of keeping no inventory of finished goods no terminal value or machinery no terminal value or machinery scrap value is expected at the end of 4 years after 4 year there is no salvage value of fixed assets when produce when production of product w33 is planned to end now generally the investment in most of the problems initial investment is given in two parts fixed assets working capital for fixed assets if the question is silent terminal value release value zero but for working capital the question don't have to say anything working capital full money will be recovered at the end of the life of the project unless and until they will say that working capital is also not recoverable that's other thing but here there is no story like this there is no terminal flow in the project for investment appraisal purpose vip company uses a nominal money discount rate of 10% nominal means real and inflation combined vip company uses a nominal money discount rate 10% per year and a target return on capital employed of 30% per year that means they are doing a project where the return on capital employed will be 30% and they are deciding in the projects on the basis of 10% discount rate now what is real nominal if the calculation of the cash flows we don't consider inflation then the cash flows will be treated as real then calculating npb discount rate should be real but that can be possible if only one inflation rate is given in the question because here if 10% i will convert it into real whether i will use 3% or whether i will use 4% will create a problem the second thing if in the question the taxation is not there they are saying ignore taxation ignore taxation if taxation is not there then only we can calculate real cash flows if the taxation is there you will be paying to government after one year in terms of nominal tax you cannot pay in terms of your today's earnings so in this question tax is not there the question could have been easier if they would have given the inflation rate sale and cost not separately say 4% then i could have or we could have done the question very fast we will not be applying inflation in entire cash flow calculation the 10% will be converted into real rate if the inflation rate is 4% suppose only one then 10% will be converted into real can i say real rate 10 minus 4 6% if the question is giving you inflation only one then what will be the real rate 
if 10% is the nominal rate 4% is the inflation then what will be the real rate One point one divided by one point zero four, the whole thing minus one, because in finance always compound interest. It's not four plus six is ten. It is if six percent on six percent, hundred and six is four percent. So ten percent they have calculated by multiplication. So one point one divided by one point zero four, the whole thing minus one will give you real rate. But that we cannot do here because the inflation rate is given differently. that means this is a question relating to project appraisal capital budgeting area which we did in the initial classes first 8 to 9 classes i have given on this only on in this batch calculate the following values for investment proposal net present value internal rate of return return on capital employed accounting rate of return based on average investment so they are asking ultimately you calculate the cash flows which is a working part and with the cash flow you calculate npb you calculate irr and you calculate return on capital employed which does not include discounting accounting measure average income by average investment in net present value and internal rate of return you will be calculating cash flow but in return on capital employed you will be calculating profit accounting income not the cash flow because accounting rate of return is calculated by accounting income but other methods npb irr or other methods will use cash flow so we need to calculate cash flow so first thing i am mentioning figures are in thousands that i have written first then if i want to say the figures are in dollars which is not required but still if i want to say that the figures are in dollars copy paste sorry i'm mad symbols first of all i need to select where i need to put it now symbols dollars insert it is better that i put here symbols dollars insert so i have written i am writing the figures dollar thousands now my first task is i will be doing calculation of cash flows for calculation of cash flows i want to copy this control c control v will it not come from our scratch pad it will be coming but from here whether it will come or not it should be coming copy but that is i am taking from here copy 
it should be happening can't i do that copy it is not happening from this part yes actually this part also possible suppose mere ko ye copy karna hai na ye hoega suppose i am doing this if i am doing copy this and then i am pasting here this will happen that means only from a scratch pad my working will be doing copy paste that to i know but i was thinking that can we do copy paste of the question actually in professional level even the questions area can be copy pasted in the answer sheet not in skill level skill level slightly functionality is different but in professional level exams whatever is there in the question i can do copy paste but according to me this one also should be working can anybody open on your own screen whether it is happening because sometimes the students are complaining that it is not happening but in the exam it will happen believe me can anybody just try on your own open go to the acc institute website and do this copy paste according to me this should happen because it is written in the guidelines copy why i want to do copy paste to save my time nothing else it should be happening believe me sometimes the faculties also the students also complained to the institute that in the mock paper on the website some functionalities are not working they have complained but in exam this function is available you can copy paste this entire thing there just why i was saying that suppose here the figures are like this and it is in columns there is a format one second paste special please understand that there is an edit button if you take edit button and you click this paste special then it will be keeping the format from there in the excel columns in the same way the format same the value same the format same all same anything why i was doing that i was interested to show you this feature that if you click edit and select this paste special paste special will copy paste the thing the way you want you have taken from the question it will be coming in the same format exactly same format with the paste special so you need to select in the edit function paste special to copy paste the thing that will be happening in the exam believe me i am 100% sure it is not happening in my screen maybe because of the software i am using for doing the classes that is also possible because in my screen i am using another third party software to do that so when the software will be used then it is not happening and there is a complaint on the acc institute also that in the mock paper sometimes some of the functionalities are not working they have said that you can complain that but we are not interested i am just giving you guarantee that in exam you can do copy paste okay because of the functionality also i am not able to see the other rows and columns but in exam you just can see that one second i think i required this much because of my software in the class maybe the things are changing 
but in exam it will be opening properly okay because in exam on, on your is mane computer the other softwares are not there in my case every machine has some software i am using okay not a problem so suppose first column is particulars then comes year zero one two three four can i delete this column in the exam there is no possibility of adding or deleting the column and rows maybe it is not happening but in exam it will happen guarantee i can give you guarantee if i how i will say in the exam it will be happening it will happen believe me because that functionality is not different i have yesterday day before yesterday i have copy pasted the question in the sbr exam the question and the entire thing on the answer sheet just two days back monday yesterday only sorry so it will happen believe me wo yahan nahi ho raha but hoega exam mein because they are always writing that on the screen when you are doing the mock paper which is from the website they are not incorporating all the functionalities in the exam i can save my time by writing this i can copy paste year and units so i could save time but i am not able to save time here because that functionality is not working okay but it will be working in exam so sales quantity sixty seventy one twenty and forty five One second. One twenty forty five. Selling price twenty into one point zero three. because they have given current price we are writing first year price 20 into 1.03 20.6 into 1.03 into 1.03 21.22 we will be writing two decimal places not more than that into 1.03 21.85 into 1.03 2.5 uh, sorry Twenty-two point five one. Twenty-two point five one. Variable cost. Can I write VC hundred percent? Variable cost. Variable cost. It was eight dollar four percent inflation. Eight into one point zero four. Eight into one point zero four, eight point three two. Then eight point six five. Then nine. Then ठीक है ठीक है nine point three six. Some differences will be there from the answer. Which we are not concentrating, nine point three six. Contribution per unit. Twenty minus eight. Can we do some? I can. I can use here 
the excel functionality but according to me if i will use a excel functionality the time will be more it is better to do this calculation by calculator 20.6 minus 8.32 12.28 then 21.22 minus 8.65 12.57 then 21.85 minus 9 12.85 then 22.51 minus 9.36 13.15 total contribution which is 7 into 10 60 into 12.28, 60 into 12.28, 736.8, 70 70 into 12.57, 70 70 879.9, 1542. 45 into 13.15, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.75, 591.
in exam you don't have to write but i am just writing that everything is there net cash flow which is 13 14 15 13 plus 14 plus 15 if i will write this in bracket it will be better so i can do copy i can do paste i can do copy i can do paste so that i can save time in the questions also it will be happening now the discount rate at the rate of 10% for npb there are two options available npb equal to npv equal to npv bracket what is the discount rate either you write 10% or you write 0.1 either you write 10% or you write 0.1 and then not zero then select all these figures you can see on the top automatically it has taken d16 to g16 already it has taken bracket closed equal to npv discount rate comma all the cash flows i have selected the npb is 2367.473 the npb is 2367.473 no already discounted man 566 690 1353 present value at the rate of 10% is 2367 this is what this is actually pv of cash inflow for npb calculation this is pv of cash inflow already done by the excel the other option which you are taking tension the other option scientific calculator scientific calculator now what i need to do 560 divided by 1.1 plus 696 divided by 1.1 to the power 2 to the power 2 in one class we discussed that how that we can got to know sorry 596 divided by 1.1 plus sorry not 596 560 divided by 1.1 plus 696 divided by 1.1 square then because it is taking on the top how it will be going down to the power 2 is done need to use arrows arrow to i have used but now i am using 1350.77 no no you are not getting 
I am saying that the arrow I have done 696 by 1.1 square is done. With the NVT table and all that, you cannot do this calculation because the figures are not same. The figures are not same, so you cannot do the calculation with NVT factor. You will be doing through the discounting factor. Discounting factor table is there, but if you do the calculation through the discounting factor, you will be taking much time. either in the calculator or with the excel function we should be doing it is right side top of the calculator yes we did that on one day i forgot that 1350.77 divided by 1.1 to the power 3 plus 392.85 divided by 1.1 to the power 4 all done so where is equal to is the calculator side is very big one second One second. Sorry, everything gone. But why the calculator calc? the entire calculator is not coming properly on the screen half of the portion hide it not half some portion it's actually simple thing you are having the scientific calculator also if you will be doing in the exam the questions based on discounting factor and all that you will be wasting your time why we are doing in this class how i have done the npb there is no calculation required you understand that again i am doing just see that equal to npv bracket is starts 10% is the discount rate comma first of all equal to npv bracket in bracket you will be writing 10% either 0.1 then go here don't select the zero figure all are selected you can see here also this one on the top all are selected already it is giving you that figure so why i will be doing anything any calculator or anything excel function is allowed in exam tomorrow is not the exam exam is after one month when we practice on the screen like this then only the things will be clear na if we don't practice we will not be able to get that in the exam we will be wasting our time initial investment initial investment is 2000 so npv npv is 367 367.4 367.473 you can make this bold so that examiner can concentrate this is your npb if you want to convert it in the total figure then it is 367473 we are saying this in thousands then it is 367473 so what we need to do for irr irr okay now see again the formula equal to sorry i r r select all 
फ्रॉम जीरो टिल द एंड बिकॉज इन आई आर आर टू थाउजेंड विल बी क्रिएटेड विथ ऑल द फिगर्स गेट दी आई आर आर कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू परसेंटेज हो गया सेवेंटीन पॉइंट नाइन एट परसेंट नाउ इफ मोहम्मद विल से दैट सर आई विल यूज कैलकुलेटर यू यूज यू गो ऑन यूजिंग द कैलकुलेटर when the functionality is there in the exam to do the things in minutes i will say less than a minute why we will be taking tens and two rates and all that everything these all things are written here in the formula sheet instructions they have written here i did all the research yesterday to communicate with all of you this formula sheet is saying that in the exam npb average sum square root everything i will say all the functions here but everything is written in the formula sheet when the excel is allowed we will be using excel function why i will be doing so calculations discounting factor table and all that the table is also there don't worry the table will be there here the table is not given but the table will be there formulas and tables i think in this only they will they must be giving the table there are three ways to solve the question one is using the table one is using the calculator one is using the excel functionality and you understand that when you go in professional level the questions are all essay type the questions are not objective type so we will increase our understanding in excel it is better everything is a simple thing so irr npb which takes generally around 15 minutes that is done but why we are saying that because muhammad is saying that where is the discounting factor so he is saying that na he want to do that only i am saying that should not be done either you do in excel or you do in calculator scientific calculator don't do the questions like that discounting factor at 10% point 909 point 826 multiply you are wasting your time we have after one month exam is there if you use these functions then it will become easier now one more thing we need to calculate roce return on capital employed which was said as accounting rate of return what is that first of all average income again see the equal to a v e r a g e average of what this 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 bracket closed get the average why i will be using any calculator when the excel is allowed in the exam npb npb irr irr average 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 investment which is 2000 plus 0 by 2 1000 that i am not using calculator average income is 560 plus 696 plus 1350 plus 392.85 so the average income is coming 749.905 and average investment is 3000 so roce which is basically 74.99 74.99% 74 if there is ceiling mistake that's other thing if you want to convert this into percentage percentage two decimal places that's all i will be saying other functionalities also but if my calculation of cash flows are correct the question is already done for npb irr calculation normally when i solve problems i take so much time but in exam since excel functionality is allowed why i will be using the calculations in a copy pen based basis 
why I will be wasting my time. I have saved because of the Excel functionality at least 10 to 15 minutes. Just in writing the cash flows, in multiplying, you can say sale price, quantity, that takes some time. But otherwise, everything is very fast. Is the cash flows calculations are correct? Then our calculations are correct. I don't think so. We have done mistake anywhere. Have we done? So that we can go into seeing the questions whether we have done correct or not. I will check. <laughs> Just for the time being, before going into solution, I am just saying that anywhere have we done wrong. If the cash flows are wrong, then the NPV IRR will be wrong. If the cash flows are correct, then the NPV IRR is correct. There is no tension. So I am just saying that is there any problem in the cash flows? Is there anything we are forgetting? We have not taken. Just see once. Selling price, variable cost, fixed cost, 2 million. Nothing is given as such. So there is no question of going anything wrong. Just that in the calculator, if we have done these calculations, correct. Let's see the answer. In exam, you cannot see the answer. But here we can see. So it is saying 509, oh, that is present value, sorry, 560, 696, 1350 and 392. Present value calculation I have not shown. The NPB 366, ours is 367.473, same only. Then they are showing these workings. IRR 18.2, ours is slightly different because of, you can say that the approximation, but that is not wrong. ROC is 25%, why? They are saying this is total accounting profit, 999. What is the problem? Why the ARR is wrong? Depreciation they have deducted. We should have deducted. We should have. Sorry. I can see that. 749 minus 905. 0.905 minus 2000 by 4. 500. So this will be coming, this will be coming 249.500. So it is 25%. That was my mistake because in accounting income we need to deduct a depreciation. In place of deducting depreciation from every year, 500, 500, 500, I have deducted in average only. So the ROC is 25%. That was my mistake, sorry. Because in calculating accounting income, we need to deduct a depreciation. But in calculating cash flow, if the taxation is not there, we don't have to deduct an add back. So that mistake we were doing. 
so roc marks we will not be getting roc marks i will not be getting what is the marking guidelines they are saying inflation income inflation operating cost net present value irr but roc 3 marks gone sorry my marks will be 8 not 11 because roc calculation i did wrong maybe if they give one marks on you can say roc formula application average income by average investment is correct but i will not be getting more than 9 that's sure now if suppose i need to add all these 566 96 and all that there is a function called sum sum means what first of all take equal to sum sum bracket starts whichever portion you want to sum do that bracket closed see everything here the formula is going on the summation 2999 for adding summation for average average for npb npb for irr irr in case of npb don't consider a 2000 in case of npb first of all calculate present value of inflows minus 2000 this we will be able to do faster in the exam if we are already working in organization doing this on regular basis then to already we are ready but if somebody is not doing that in the organization or a student level you need to study that in your entire one month regularly you should be working on a screen so that you can save your time suppose i want suppose i want 15 to the power 50 so p o w e r power i will be saying here equal to p o w e r power bracket 15 comma 50 fairness why it is not happening it has not taken the function one second power 15 50 but this is not working power 15 power 15 why it is not taking power 15 comma 50 one second i understood we use sign sign in the sense why the power function is not working one second power it is coming just after giving bracket it is leaving power 15 to the power 50 power fifteen comma fifty do not work why it is not working anybody can help me because it works power
after power if i am taking a bracket it is not working acha one second in the formula see they must have written power function power return the figure 9 number required power number power that is okay equal to power number power i am doing that only so why it is not working power number power why it is not working there is a problem with this excel believe me because it is written power number power you will be writing the power then number 15 comma 50 why small numbers anything will not work koi bhi work nahi karega suppose power sorry power just i am giving bracket it is not taking whereas for everything i need to take a bracket then only the excel formulas will work when i am not using the bracket it is bold but when i am using the bracket it is getting disturbed 2 comma 3 2 to the power 3 is 8 it will not come i know 8 it is coming very <laughs> but why not is small bigger why why P O W E R power fifteen comma fifty. Sorry, I think I need to change this to this format. No. i think it is coming 15 to the power 50 one second i understood sorry power 15 comma 50 the figure is coming right power 15 comma 50 the figure is coming but the figure is very big for that reason i think 15 to the power 50 will be very large figure for that reason it is giving this figures but the power function is that only what i said since it is coming very large figure so for that reason it is saying that now suppose square root square root means we know that two to the power 3 is 8 so if i want to s q r t square root of eight comma three will it come to now let go into formula table one second square root generally less required but still the functionality is there some average count round count round count means number of items npb yes square root where it was there square root number so it will be root over only sorry s q r t
16. SQRT number. SQRT J11. In bracket. Yes, sir. You are correct. Sorry, sorry. SQRT 16. Now we will get 4. So we can calculate square root. We can do that square root calculation in calculator. According to me, if I am there in the exam hall, the power function and all that I will be doing in calculator because in Excel it will be taking time. But if I want to calculate summation, average, NPB, IRR, that I will be doing through the Excel. If I want 20 to the power 50, I can do faster in the calculator. My thing. Maybe the student who are working practically, they will be able to do faster on a Excel also. But that habit I don't have. So you can say that in the calculator, I will be doing something. But NPB, IRR, average, summation, those things I will be doing through the Excel only. So that I can do it faster. And in Excel, everything bracket needs to be there. If the bracket is not there, that functionality will not work. So since one month is there, we can experience on our hands, on a screen, so that we will be able to do that faster in exam. There is no formula table or anything we need to see in exam. We will be able to do that faster in the exam if we are habituated. Otherwise not. Getting? Any doubt in this question or the functionality? Anybody has any issue so that we can proceed? If somebody is not habituated with the Excel, be habituated with the Excel in coming one month. If somebody is not handy, it's simple. Just that the practice. Practice cannot be done in one hour or one day. Practice needs to be done on regular basis. The exam is there still after one month. So that we need to use. And the copy paste of the question part will be there in the answer. Believe me how I will say it is there. On the institute website videos are also there it will work. But it is not working in this question. That doesn't matter. In exam hall it will work. You can copy your entire question from here to your answer sheet. There is no problem. That functionality is allowed in exam. So the first question net present value IRR return on capital employed we have done. The NPB was positive. The IRR is 18% approximately. But the return on capital employed, they want that 30%. We are having 25%. So one portion, it is not acceptable. But the other two portions, it is acceptable. Now let's, let's see what are the other requirements. Briefly discuss your findings in each section of A previously and advise whether the investment appraisal proposal is financially acceptable. Briefly discuss your findings in each section of A. First section of A was NPV. Second section of A was IRR. Third section of A was return on capital employed. Discuss your findings in each section of A and advise whether the investment proposal is financially acceptable. So in NPB, I will be saying that NPB is the best technique for deciding about a project because it is directly related with the shareholders wealth maximization. When the project NPB is positive, the project is financially viable. The company is already listed in the stock exchange. IRR is also greater than the cost of capital. 10% IRR is 18%. So we are going to get the return greater than the cost. So we should be doing the project. The third one. The return on capital employed is less than what the company requires. But um, on this basis, we should not accept the project. But ultimately, our final conclusion, we should be doing the project because the project decision should be taken generally on the basis of NPV, which is treated as one of the best method. Why the, you can say, return on capital employed is less? According to me, the 30% is not logical. Maybe they need to revise something. Maybe they have not done the revision because traditionally they are taking 30%, but every project cannot give you 30%. At the same time, ROC is based on accounting data. And the decision in finance should be used on financial angle. 
not on the basis of accounting data so depends four four marks that means you have exactly time of 6 minutes to write you should not be writing so much so that you wrote that this answer i can write very well i will be taking my time you need to think about completing the paper maybe like my roc was wrong maybe some cash flow calculation was wrong so if you waste your time you will not be able to complete your paper presently we are in the class there is no pressure of time but in the exam all the pressure of time is mounted very much as compared to what we are doing so always think about time in your exam that what time you need to take how much time you can give everybody has his own style of writing theory just that see what they have written the investment proposal has a positive npv of this and is therefore financially acceptable the result of other investment appraisal methods do not alter this financial acceptability even though irr is less even though anything is there but npv positive means project is doable as the npv decision rule always offer the correct investment decision the internal rate of return method also recommends accepting the investment proposal since irr is 18.2% as compared to cost of capital 10% if the advice offered by the irr method differ from the offered by npb method the advice offered by npb method would be preferable the calculation return on 25% is less than 30% but as indicated earlier the investment proposal is financially acceptable as it has a positive npb the reason why bip company has a target return on capital employed of 30% should be investigated why they are keeping 30% roc this may be out of date hurdle rate which has not been updated for changed in economic circumstances there is own style of writing but ultimately what we need to write about all the three methods whether the project should be acceptable or not your logic that they are asking four marks so should not be written much so that you will not be getting time to complete the paper discuss how the objectives of vip company shareholders stakeholders may be in conflict if the project is undertaken now stakeholders are not only the shareholders shareholders staff employees managers then i will say general public suppliers financiers government organizations all are stakeholders they are asking discuss how the objective of vip company stakeholders may be in conflict if the project is undertaken so there is a conflict with the employees because it is automation they will not be getting the employment the company will be going for redundancy of the employees so that problem will be affecting maybe not redundancy they will be paid less remuneration that one any other thing other than employees is there anything else the project is not environment friendly why why it is not environment friendly noise pollutions but from where you were taking the noise pollution i forgot sorry where it is written that it is noise pollution creating noise level sorry yes they have written in the fifth line i forgot that that noise levels were high so it is not environment friendly that is against the environment and anything else i can say that the estimation done by the managers by the r&d department that this will be the quantity of sale and all that that sensitivity analysis would also be done even though on the basis of npb it is positive positive cash flows everything is there but we understand that those cash flows are not certain so some sensitivity analysis 
will affect the shareholders what other options are there for the money with the company that also need to be checked inflation factor whatever we have forecasted because how accurate they are so sensitivity analysis should be done whenever we see that when a project is npb positive financial angle the project is acceptable the magnitude of npb also decide whether the project is acceptable but from the non financial angle for the other stakeholders we need to think that the project is acceptable or not because a bigger company like us large stock exchange listed company cannot only think about the shareholders return even though they are listed even though they are a private company but they need to think about all the stakeholders for their long term growth so we are discussing that only na ki id conflict the conflict is their shareholder will be accepting the project but the employees will not the government will not the regulatory authority will not because noise pollutions the community will be creating problems so that is a conflict so we are writing that conflict that from the shareholder point of view it is acceptable but from the other point of view it is not acceptable sensitivity is a part i am saying that there may be conflict in case of npb also because the laborers and all that will be saying that you were saying npb is positive maybe the labor union manager or somebody will be saying that what is the surety that the npb will be positive because the figures are not certain so they can raise their question that is sensitivity is not in the terms of accepting or rejecting sensitivity i am raising the voice in terms of other stakeholders that they will say their logic that this that way i am saying if anybody don't want to write this not a problem because everybody has his own style of writing at the same time five marks so 7.5 minutes 8 minutes i will be writing the answer in place of 8 minutes i cannot write 15 minutes because then again i will not be able to complete the paper let's see what they have written how they have written it's not that when i am opening the answer in the class you will do like that the papers you should be writing on your own you should be checking that how much time you are taking to write how much you have written you need to compare their marking guidelines as large listed company vip company primarily financial objective is assumed to be maximization of shareholders wealth if five points are there like let me before reading what they are saying maximization of shareholder wealth if a student has written about shareholders then in that case two marks conflict from automation of production process that means about employees conflict from additional noise one marks so how you will be generating five points when the data is not giving you other information they have given you information about employees they have given you information about noise and they have given you shareholder that it is positive so how you will generate five points when the question does not have five points how i will write five points if i will be writing in the exam roman 1 roman 2 roman 3 i will not be getting good marks are we looking in the answers anywhere they are writing roman 1 roman 2 anywhere what is the format of the presentation of the examiner paragraph format the paragraph format most of the answers are written always in every paragraph you are writing different different things the indian mentality that each indian exam 20 points have written roman 1 roman 2 they will not give marks the repetition will not be given any marks they are very pretty focused that on what they will be giving marks because that is only involved in the question how can i generate some points which are not given anywhere i cannot bring something which is not given in the question a large listed company vip company financial objective is assumed to be the maximization of shareholders wealth in order to pursue its objectives vip company should undertake projects such as this one which have a positive npb and irr greater than cost of capital however not all the vip stakeholders have the same objective and the acceptance of the project may create conflict between the different objectives due to the product w33 being produced using an automated production process 
it will not meet employees objectives of continuity or security in their employment it could also mean employees will be paid less than the currently earn if this move is part of a longer term move away from the manual process it could also conflict with the government objectives of having a low rate of employment the additional noise created by the production of w33 will affect the local community and may conflict with objectives relating to healthy living this may also conflict with objectives from environment perspressor groups and government standards on noise levels as well now there is a problem with many students that sir i cannot write this what they have written sir i cannot write this what they have written so whether i will be getting laddus who says is the same comma full stop i need to write when i was discussing i have not said this point under employees we have not said that the government objective of giving them proper remuneration proper creation of employment this is against the government policy in that way also that i was not saying that doesn't mean that i will be getting zero when we are writing an answer of the institute we need to first of all see that the answer whatever is written is my thinking was in the right direction was i was thinking the same that they are thinking that what i need to write so our thinking was correct that we need to write about stakeholders problems i was saying sensitivity analysis then in that case ruti said that sir it is not asking i was saying sensitivity analysis in terms of conflict only with to explain the conflict i was saying sensitivity now suppose i am writing you are not writing but i am my focus sensitivity analysis is in terms of conflict only i will be getting marks but after reading the solution my answer i need to see the examiner's comment what examiners are saying on which point they are giving marks whether i am covering that or not the english to will never be seen in whole life we can study 50 years we cannot be making the same english language what they are writing so if we are thinking in that direction then we are pasting mane crushing ourselves always regularly you just need to see that what you are writing in how much time you are writing are you writing the answer to the question then what they are writing are you writing the answer exactly what they are asking then what are the points they have written which you have not written i need to improve myself that way the study should be done not that they have written differently i have written this or check this what is the benefit of this is there is a problem in understanding the question is there is a problem in understanding the answer there is no question if the things are there that you have written totally different they have written totally different still you are thinking that after reading their answer the examiner's comment marking scheme you are thinking that i am still right then you require my help not that in every theory question you will be asking my help because then to there is no limit even though i will be sitting beside you for whole life then also the question will not finish so we need to go in that direction that how we study we need to be a professional we need to see that what they have written i have written that we need to see that what on what the marks are given i have written that the english language grammar full stop and comma cannot be seen that will never be seen so if we are targeting on that we will never be getting our objectives a five marks question i can see see that any student who has studied properly will be getting four five marks in this question any student because it's not difficult comma full stop we are not checking how they are writing what they are writing examiners will be giving very good marks those who have understood this question we need to be logical in our approach not illogical now that was 20 marks gone this is the second part 20 marks up till now any question any doubt anything to ask before proceeding in this question you when you were seeing the answers most of the times whether it's any subject never the institute is writing roman 1 roman 2 roman 3 and all that one line two line those types of write up they are not liking i will say that labor problem laddus i will be getting laddus to get the marks i need to explain what is the labor problem maybe in the class suppose shruti is saying noise but with the noise you need to explain the write up either you write roman 1 roman 2 or you doesn't write doesn't matter 
you need to explain your thought process in the exam. It's not Indian exam where you write 10 points, 10 marks. No, they will not give. The marks are not on Roman 1, Roman 2. The marks are on explaining the thought process. The scenario relates to three requirements. Again, on the basis of this, there are three requirements. Frost company has dividend payout ratio of 40% and has maintained his payout ratio for several years. So they are regularly paying whatever they are earning 40% dividend and they are maintaining this 40% payout for many years. That means they have a fixed dividend policy. Whatever they will earn, 40% they will pay as dividend. The current dividend per share of the company is 0.5 per share, current dividend. And it expects that its next dividend per share, payable in one year's time, will be 0.52 per share. 0.5 plus 40% of 0.5 will be very high. But they are saying that whatever they will earn, 40% of that will be 0.52 per share. Okay. The capital structure of company is as follows. Ordinary share nominal value 1, 25 million. Reserves 35 million. Shareholders money 60 million. Debt bond A nominal value 100 dollar each 20 million. Bond B nominal value 100 dollar each 10 million. There are two types of bond. Bond A will be redeemed at nominal value in 10 years time. And pays annual interest rate 9%. So bond A, 20 million, we will redeem 20 million after 10 years. Every year we are paying 9% interest. The cost of debt of this bond is 9.83% per year. Why? Bond A will be redeemed at nominal value in 10 years time and pays annual interest 9%. The cost of debt of this bond is 9.83%. Why? When we will redeem at par, we are paying 9%. The cost of debt should be 9%. Why it is 9.83%? You don't have to calculate. They have calculated cost of debt. But why it is greater than 9%? If I am taking from somebody 100, I am paying to that person after one year 100 and I am paying 9. I will say 9%. If I am taking 100 today, I will pay one year 9, second year 9, third year 9. And that third year I am paying 100. is still 9%. Why they are saying 9.83%? Anybody? Bond A will be redeemed at nominal rate in 10 years time. And pays annual interest rate 9%. The cost of debt of this bond is 9.83%. So why they are saying 9.83%? Can we say that the bond may, may be issued at discount. And then redeemable at par. So there is a loss in that part also. That increases the, the cost of debt to 9.83%. We are redeeming par. We are paying interest 9%. But the cost is 9.83%. That means there is some extra loss. That loss can be in one area. You really, you got, you issued the bond at a discount. So while issuing the bond, you have not got 20. You got 18, 17, something. And then you are paying 20. You are paying 9%. So effective cost is coming 9.83%. The current X interest market price of the bond is 95.08. Face value 100. But the market price is 95.08. That means the bond are listed in the stock exchange. Bond B will be redeemed at a nominal value in 4 years time and pays annual interest of 8%. Bond B 4 years only. The nominal interest rate on bond B we are paying 8%. That is also going to be redeemed at par. The cost of debt of this bond is 7.82%. Now in this point the cost is less than 8. That means maybe it is issued at premium redeemable at par. So you are getting some benefit. For that reason, it is 7.82%. The current X interest market price of the bond is 102.01. We can also say that whenever the bond are listed in the stock exchange, if I will say that the first bond market price is 95.08, I will purchase at 95.08, I will get for 10 years 999999. And at the end of 10th year, I will get 100. So against 95.08, 9 for 9 times and 100 at the end of 10th year, you equate, you will get IRR 9.83%. In the case of second bond, you are purchasing the bond at 102.01. You will be getting 8, 8, 8, 8, 4 times. And at the end of 4th year, you will be getting 100. When you equate, you will get 7.82%. So they are not asking you to calculate cost of debt. They have calculated on their own. Fantastic.
एफ कंपनी हैज अ कॉस्ट ऑफ इक्विटी 12.4 परसेंट इक्विटी कॉस्ट दे हैव आल्सो गिवन वेयर एवरीथिंग दे हैव गिवन दैट व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग विद अस कैलकुलेट द फॉलोइंग वैल्यूज फॉर एफ कंपनी एक्स डिविडेंड शेयर प्राइस यूजिंग द डिविडेंड ग्रोथ मॉडल एक्स डिविडेंड शेयर प्राइस यूजिंग द डिविडेंड ग्रोथ मॉडल कैन एनीबॉडी से हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट एक्स डिविडेंड शेयर प्राइस How can we calculate dividend growth? How can we calculate dividend growth? There are two ways. One is either the past data is given, you will calculate the growth rate. If that is not given, then in that case we say that directly given. If that is also not given, then it is whatever the retention into return on equity. Whatever we are retaining on that retaining, whatever we are earning. so we are retaining how much 40% we are paying to shareholder 60% we are retaining on that 60% how much return we will be getting on that 60% how much return we will be getting what is return on equity in this question can i see that they are saying the earnings per share 0.52 divided by 40% can i say that the earnings per share forecasted by the company 0.52 divided by 40% because they are saying that they will be expecting to pay a dividend of 0.52 which is 40% of your earnings so 0.52 divided by 40% will be 1.25 what will be the total earnings 25 million shares 25 into 1.25 will be the total earnings 25 point 25 into 1.25 will be the total earnings so the total earnings you you can do that also you can calculate per share book value or i am calculating the total earnings the total earning is 25 into 1.25 divided by the total shareholders money the total shareholders money is 60 so 25 into 1.25 divided by 60 will give you return on equity per share earning 1.25 into 25 will give you total earnings divided by 60 will give you return on equity i think 31.25 divided by 60 how much 31.25 divided by 60 52 percent, 52.08. So 60 percent into 52.08. 60 percent is the retention, and 52.08 is the return on equity. So we will retain 60 percent on that. We will earn 52.08. So what is the growth rate? Around 30 percent. 31.24 percent will be the growth rate. Now with the growth rate, how we will calculate the value of share? With the growth rate, how we will calculate the value of share? with the growth rate what is the value of shares point 52 divided by but the growth rate is greater than the cost of equity how we will calculate the cost of equity is 12.4% how we will calculate the value the growth rate should be coming there is some mistake what mistake what mistake we have done do they have given the share price they have not given forty percent is the payout ratio several years the current dividend per share is point five per share and it expects that its next dividend per share payable in one year's time will be 0.52 so 0.52 is already expected dividend divided by i minus g i don't think so 
because the cost of equity they have given 12.4 percent cost of equity 12.4 percent is given in the question for calculating growth 0.52 minus 0.5 no we can't do i don't think so cost of equity is the return required by shareholders you are considering the growth rate as increase in dividend which is given one year data but if nothing is possible then we have to do that only i think shruti and mahender you are correct otherwise how we will solve because point from from 0.5 to 0.5 to 0.02 divided by 0.5 that is 4% so we can say that 0.5 to divided by 12.4% minus 4% i think that we need to do only but then are we thinking illogically 0.5 to divided by no we can't take roe 12.4% we can't take we can't take since the data is given we need to check what they have done i am liking what mahender and shruti is saying we have to do that only what is the growth in dividend 0.02 divided by 0.5 into 100 4% let's see what they have done we will be seeing capital gearing debt debt divided by debt plus equity using market value so in the first case whatever price you have calculated in the first case whatever price we will calculate multiplied by 25 will give you market value of equity market value of bond a 20 by 100 into 95 point something and 10 by 100 into 102 is something then in that case debt bond a bond b divided by bond a bond b plus equity that we need to do bond a market value 20 by 100 into 95 point something bond b market value 10 divided by 100 into 100 into so both the bond market value added total debt equity number of shares 25 into market price per share which we calculate in a so that will be giving you market value of equity so debt divided by debt plus equity they are asking in roman 2 so if your roman 1 is wrong your roman 2 will also be wrong because they have not given you the share price the share price you are calculating in roman 1 so if that share price is wrong roman 2 will also be wrong market value weighted average cost of capital so you can say that you have calculated suppose debt by debt plus equity is coming 30% suppose so 30% into cost of debt plus 70% into cost of equity now you need to calculate separately the market value of bond a divided by total value into bond a 9.83% plus market value of bond b by total value multiplied by 7.83% plus equity value divided by total value into 12.83% so that will be giving you weighted average cost of capital actually if our first roman 1 will be wrong then roman 2 roman 3 will also be wrong not that i will be getting zero the marking guidelines include some step marking on other areas but if roman 1 is wrong 2 and 3 will be wrong are we getting here in the excel there is no as such any specific calculation required in excel the normal calculation you can do the calculator also the submission and all that is not required somewhere you will be adding debt equity add you can use some formula that is other thing but otherwise that is simple writing here that was not like npv let's see what they have done 4% so shruti and mahender we are correct thank you shruti and mahender but then the question is not good i will say because that was also giving us i was thinking very long 
but that was also giving the story growth rate four percent share price number of ordinary share market value market value of bond a market value of bond b market value of total debt so capital gearing debt 29.217 divided by 29 plus 154 wacc the calculation they must have shown where they have not shown any calculation so can we say can we calculate 50.52 divided by 12.14 minus 4% how much it will come 0.52 divided by 12.4 minus 4% that is 8.4% can we say yes 0.52 divided by 8.4%. How much it will come? 0.52 divided by 8.4%. They are writing in cents. It is actually 6.1905 dollar. They are writing 619 cents. So 25 million into cents. Then they have divided by 100. It is coming 154 million and so on. For WACC also the calculation they have not seen. They are just saying that Suppose we will be doing 154.75 divided by 183.96 into 12.4% plus 19.016 divided by 183 into, I can see that if I will solve this in the, Value, weight, cost, cost into weight. Equity around one fifty four. Bond A. Bond A, how much is the value? Just that I have not calculated, just using 19 and 10. In shortcut, I am doing 19 bond B. Ten. I want some mission here. So I got the submission. Now I will be doing in the calculator 157 by 186, 19 by 186 or 10 by 186 because if I will use Excel, it will be taking more time. 157 by 186. How much it will come? 157 by 186. I am not writing. Then the cost is 12.4. You can say this is cost. Percentage at cost percentage, this is nine point eight and this is seven point eight. Then I will be multiplying weight into this, weight into this, weight into this. And then here again, I will be doing submission. I My advice is that maybe sometime in the class, I am not solving in the Excel. But whenever you are practicing, try to do everything in writing. Try to do. Try to do everything in writing on the Excel with the formulas and all that. So that by one month, you are very well prepared. Since this does not involve anything, for that reason, I was not writing. But the summation feature, NPB feature, IRR features, then you can say average features you should be using in the exam. You don't have to use any table or anything. They have given 
weighted average cost of capital like anything you have to do the calculation in exam then only you can do what column rows you will be making how can you save your time that also need to be checked getting my point should we proceed here any question any doubt please everybody so that we can proceed do more and more things in the class discuss whether a change in dividend policy will affect the share price of f company suppose i am writing this answer in the exam before writing what i will think mm theory then i will think then i will think clientel theory clientel theory then i will think signaling effect signaling effect then i will think practical aspects suppose i am a student i don't remember anything sometimes it doesn't open when you reopen again it will open here <laughs> sometimes i also in one paper i was doing a paper of i don't remember sbl and i opened i am not finding the mane ex answers there is no suggested answer but you will open reopen again then it will show it's actually so many persons are using the website there is so much bandwidth required on the website because you understand teachers professors students and competitors of acca course everybody is using the acca website so sometimes it happens which was suppose i will copy paste this one now see let's see this one is happening or not now it hanged control c control v it will happen believe me i have done that why it is not happening at when the function is there copy then the function should be there if i will do like that one second it is showing me the options are showing me paste but it is not getting there is a functionality problem in the website coming shruti just give me 5 minutes just let we complete this part see i am saying that in the exam hall i need to write change in the dividend policy will affect the share price for change in the dividend policy affects share price either i need to have a technical knowledge mm theory clientel effect signaling effect bird in hand view theory there are many theories are there bird in hand view bird in hand suppose i don't remember this technical theory i am in the exam hall i don't remember so i will not write the answer i will write what i will write can i have general common sense that in the market if a company announce dividend if the company gives dividend the share price will be affected or not can i write something on my general common sense that if i am holding shares of reliance and the company is giving dividend whether the share price will be getting affected there are two views one will say yes one will say no the reason is that 
if i have purchased the shares for getting the dividend and the company is giving dividend i will be satisfied if the company is not giving dividend i will be dissatisfied so it's actually on the mentality or the thinking process of the shareholder generally i am the investor i am talking practical about me i am never purchasing shares of a company for a dividend i am purchasing shares of itc reliance sbi any company not for getting dividend because the price is 2000 the face value is 1 rupee even though they will give 100% dividend then only it is one i want that the price should be increasing i am a person who is interested in capital appreciation i am not interested in dividend i am that type of person but is all the shareholders in the company are my type there are institutional investors who have invested 10 20% shares of the company if they will be getting dividend it's a huge amount and they are not going to do trading regularly like i am doing so they are interested in dividend so the company need to think about all the shareholders what type of shareholders are there what is the company's policy in paying dividend what are the company's future plans future projects from where the company will be getting the money if they will be giving dividend then how they will be doing the projects a general common sense need to be developed maybe mm theory clientel theory signaling effect i don't remember but a general common sense i need to develop then with the common sense i can correlate what is the write up in the question in the first paragraph only the question is saying what the company is regularly paying 40% dividend why the company is regularly paying out of the earnings 40% dividend that means the company shareholders are of that category are of that nature that they regularly want a dividend for that reason the company is following the same policy so if you will change your policy the chances are very high that the dividend the price of the shares will be affected in the market because the company has you can see created an expectation in the mind of the shareholders that they will be paying this dividend regularly 40% of the earnings since they are doing for several years so if i am purchasing the shareholder of the company i know that the company will be paying 40% of the earnings as dividend the company should be paying otherwise i will be dissatisfied but if we go with technical theory say mm model mm says that whether a company pays dividend or don't pay doesn't matter it doesn't matter because if the company will give you dividend you will invest somewhere if the company don't give dividend then the company will invest that money for you somewhere the return will be same so whether the company pays dividend or not does not matter that is mm irrelevant theory clientel theory as i said suppose in a company the clients the shareholders are interested in getting capital appreciation in some companies the shareholders are interested in getting dividend it depends upon taxation also in india the capital gain is exempt but in dividend is taxable so maybe depending upon the client the company should decide because if the company will not do that as per the clientel requirement there will be effect on the price of the shares signaling effect if the company pays more dividend generally the signal is that the company is earning more or maybe if the company has already created the expectation that the company will be giving dividend and if the company is not giving dividend company is giving wrong signal that will affect the price bird in hand view if you are getting dividend you are getting money now but the capital appreciation there is no guarantee nobody knows that the corona will be happening in 2020 so the situation will be like this if the company the shareholder would have got dividend that would have been better so bird in hand view simple term you should be getting more and more dividend so some of the theory says that by give, changing the dividend by paying low dividend by changing the dividend policy in the share price will be affected some of the theory mm theory says that it depends it depends that whether the share price will be affected or not in our case according to me that if the company will change the dividend policy it will affect because we have regularly paid 40% of our earnings as dividend so the shareholder expectation the mentality they have invested in the company with that notion so for that reason they regularly want the dividend in the company so if the company change the dividend then the company's policy, the share price will be affected unless and until company communicate with the shareholders very effectively if they reduce the dividend why they are reducing what they are going to do with the money they can communicate in advance properly to the shareholders maybe the adverse effect will not be coming otherwise it will be coming how much you will write it's upon you but ultimately the dividend chapter is what a theoretical chapter 
different theories are there and then a basic knowledge understanding is there when the question is there of 8 marks it's a big marks 8 into 1.5 around 12 13 15 minutes you can write i can say that in 15 minutes you can say you can type around 20 lines 20 lines you are going to type because your speed should be at least one line in one minute the general speed is called 1.5 line in one minute so in 15 minutes you should be typing around 20 lines the 20 lines should not be roman 1 roman 2 laddus you will be getting in a paragraph you will be writing first of all what is dividend what is share price what is the relationship in the second paragraph you will be saying what is the common sense in the market dividend is paid out of profit dividend is paid out of cash flow if the company will be generating cash flow ultimately the shareholder will be gaining either through capital appreciation or the dividend but a dividend you are getting now capital appreciation you will be getting when you sell the shares that is not guaranteed so you can see that shareholders invest in the company with a different motive so you will be going into shareholders objective you will be going into company's policy you will be explaining some of these policy mm clientele whatever you like but keeping in mind your length your time and everything maybe you know 100 things suppose i can write 100 lines on this but i cannot write in the exam if i know this 100 lines i need to complete my paper i am not going to get in place of 8 marks 80 marks on this question only so everything need to be taken care and at the same time suppose i don't remember anything the dividend chapter i have not studied properly i should not be leaving zero blank 8 marks why whatever i can write it will be giving zero only maybe 8 marks i don't know anything i can give 7 8 minutes in place of 12 minutes i will be giving 7 8 minutes to write the answer the theoretical answer it does not mean that you can leave or you can write anything whatever you like it should be in the proper guidelines then only we will be getting the marks suppose when i am doing the papers i am realizing i don't remember anything in dividend then what i will do i will be going after this paper study the dividend chapter if you study the dividend chapter before you have already done that then why you are not able to write the answer so once somewhere dividend somewhere cost of capital somewhere investment appraisal working capital this that when they will be coming bordering you again and again then your testing will be done at the same time on the screen the excel sheet use write up software everything will be coming together that should be done in coming one month not the topic wise study that time is gone if anything is still left that can be completed one month is there don't take tension but don't do something which is not to be done now you have to go in the next level fourth and fifth gear study you need to start as i said initially earlier when we give exam that is started 10 days before the exam but this time this is starting one month before the exam thanks to june exam when it was not there this is the benefit but in December, this luxury we will not be getting. In December, when the exam will be there, five, ten days before, you will be able to complete your syllabus. Because you cannot start studying for December a subject if you are giving exam for September. Those who are not giving exam in September, nobody is studying anything at all. Anything. They are thinking that in September we are not giving exam. December will come like this, like anything. So we need to be crystal clear in our brain what I need to do. Now, before proceeding further, what Sruti is saying? Achha, let's read the answer, what they have written. MM showed that in a perfect capital market, the value of a company depends on its investment decision alone and not in its dividend or financing decision whether you pay less dividend more dividend doesn't pay dividend mm says that the price of the company does not depend upon that in such a market a change in the dividend policy by f company would not affect its share price or its market capitalization they showed that the value of a company was maximized if it invested in all projects with a positive net present value the company could pay any level of dividend and if it had insufficient finance Make up the shortfall by issuing new equity shares as bonus or whatever. Or if they don't have funds, they take the money from the market. Since investors had perfect information, they were indifferent between dividends and capital gains, which says by MM, which is said by MM. 
share holders who were unhappy with the level of dividend declared by a company could gain by selling some of the shares in the market this was possible since there was no transaction cost because perfect capital market i have information you have information equal we know both the things equal in the market there is no brokerage there is no transaction cost nothing the securities are infinitely divisible you can sell 0.5 share 0.2 share the dividend is not going to affect the share price so all these are called features of perfect market in that market if you want money you can sell shares there will not be any problem again this view are several arguments for a link between dividend policy and share prices against this view that is against the mm there are other views which does not say that for example it has been argued that investors prefer capital gain dividend capit investor prefer certain dividends now rather than on certain dividend in future bird in wand view theory it has also been argued that real world capital markets are not perfect but semi strong efficient that is in market brokerage is there in the market imperfect in for even though it and all that is there in the world but everybody don't have the same information so many information are there in the market since perfect information is therefore not available it is possible for information asymmetry to exist between shareholders and the managers of the company dividend announcement may give new information to shareholders you are working in a company you are in the accounts department finance department you know that the company will announce this dividend because you are the right hand left hand of directors so you know that what is the dividend company will announce but i am the shareholder i don't know what dividend company will announce you know so there is a symmetrical information exist between shareholders and the managers of the company dividend announcement may give new information to shareholders and as a result in a semi strong form efficient market share prices may change the size and the direction of the share price the size and the direction of the share price change will depend on the difference between the dividend announcement and the expectation of the shareholders this is referred to as signaling effect signaling theory it has been found that shareholders are attracted to particular companies as a result of being satisfied by their dividend policies that is 40% they are paying this is referred to as clientel effect a company with an established dividend policy is therefore likely to have established dividend clientel the existence of this dividend clientel implies that the share price may change if there is a change in the dividend policy of the company as the shareholder sell their shares in order to reinvest in the company where they will get that thing with a more satisfactory dividend policy in a perfect capital market the existence of dividend clientel is irrelevant since substitute substituting one company for another will not incur any transaction cost the clientel effect is also based on perfect capital market in a perfect capital market the existence of dividend clientel is irrelevant since substitution one company for another company there is no brokerage there is no transaction cost since real world capital markets are not perfect however the existence of the dividend clientel and clientless suggested that if the f company changes its dividend policy the share price would be affected what they are saying dividend irrelevance and dividend relevance four marks four marks they are concentrating on this whether you write mm or not whether you write technical name bird in hand view clientel theory but you have to write both the theory that by change in the dividend share price will be affected by change in the dividend share price will not be affected that two focus thing you need to write because there is no fixed answer for this in the world that whether the dividend affect the share price whether the dividend does not affect share price there is no fixed answer for this so a student who is writing may be in general sense but irrelevance relevance they will be getting marks maybe by writing some technical theories name we will be getting 4 out of 4 but if i don't remember technical but i understand whether the dividend affect the price or not in two paragraphs i am writing i will be getting one or two marks at least so why i will leave for getting zero when i don't remember i will be taking 5 7 minutes to finish the answer so that i can use my time somewhere else but leaving one marks question means you cannot pass i have given so many exams in life ca CWA, CS, CFA, then MS Finance, then Indian ICFI CFA, then CMA exams. These many things I have done. So many exams. Never in life I have left a single marks question in exam without being attempted. हर समय सौ नंबर का पेपर करके आए हैं. नंबर रैंक कभी नहीं आया. केवल CWA, Inter और Final में रैंक आया. Because वहाँ जो पास होते हैं सब रैंक लाते हैं. Those who pass they got rank. That's other thing. But Or generally, I have not scored rank, but I have always passed. 
I am not a ranker. I am not in that league. But at least I should not be failing. The failing will be arising. That means my, either my preparation is not appropriate or my preparation is appropriate, but my efforts in the exam is not appropriate. So in the exam, your efforts will be appropriate when you do 100 marks paper. You can't leave a single marks question in exam. You cannot come out of the exam that is in remote exam after the three hours is over. You cannot say that I left this five marks. You can call me. You can say me, message me, sir, I have not done it. I am saying now that we cannot leave a number of marks. We cannot pass. I cannot leave a single marks question in exam. I need to concentrate on time, speed, everything. At, the, at my time, the speed was there. Not on computer, on copy pen. Always in whole life of my life, students leave the exam paper they don't complete fully whether it's a paper pen base whether it's a computer base whatever and that's the major issue of not passing the exam we can't leave a single marks question the reason is only one they are not doing the practice the way they should be doing the practice many of the students are still studying topic wise topic wise topic wise exam kit standard study text they are not doing on the website institute has given such a fantastic website everything to practice but we are never using that that's the problem from today nothing should be studied without the website exam kit and all that we can study after doing mock papers one then revision then one 15 20 25 35 i will be giving five mocks and in between i will be doing that study so that I can increase my speed and I can get confidence to give the exam. Is there any other question here? One more question. Then I am going into your doubts, Ruti. Explain why F companies' capital instruments have different levels of risk and return. What they want to ask here? Explain why F companies' capital instruments have different levels of risk and return. What is they are asking here? What do we need to write for this question? Anybody, are we all there in the class? Are we all there in front of the screen? Yes, Sruti, you are there. <laughs> Sorry. The company has debt, equity, bond A, bond B, ordinary shares. They are saying that why F companies capital instruments? It is not investment. It is the funds which we have raised. Have different levels of risk and return. Equity, the cost of equity is 12.4%. The cost of bond is 9.83 and 7.82%. Why? Because equity investment is more riskier. Those who are investing in the shares of the company, they have the residual claim in the company. After giving return to everybody, whatever left will be given to shareholders. So they are taking the maximum risk. So they require the maximum return. The bond holder are taking lower risk. So they require lower return. They have the, they will be getting the interest. Obviously not sure if the company will generate cash flows. Why the bond A required rate of return is greater than bond B? Why the bond A required rate of return is 9.83% as compared to bond B 7.82%? Why? Because both are bond. Then why the rate is different? Why bond A is more riskier? Why? What is the logic behind that bond A is more riskier? It is by the same company. So why can be the bond A is more riskier? If there are two companies, one has better credit rating, other has less credit worthiness, we can see. But why in the same company? 
according to me bond age 10 years maturity bond b is 4 year maturity long term higher risk short term lower risk so first of all the period the first bond is 10 year period and the second bond is 4 year period long term long term are always more riskier you require more return for sacrificing your rate you can say money if you are investing somewhere for 6 months if you are investing for 6 years you will be getting more return for investing 6 years return means total not per year return per year return if i will do fd in bank 6 months the interest rate is 5 6% if i will do fd in bank 5 years the interest rate is 7 8% so if whenever I will give commitment for a longer period, the return is more. So the company has to give more return to the bond holder, those who are having bond A because they are taking the risk for 10 years. And maybe I can see that what uh, Akshay is saying, maybe one bond is secured, one bond is unsecured. Maybe the bond A is unsecured and B is secured, but the chances are less generally. Generally bond means secured, generally. They are all listed in the stock exchange. So the investor can sell their bond anytime when they like. But still the bond A has a higher cost of capital, higher cost than as compared to bond B. So they are asking, first of all, you explain in one paragraph what is risk and return. Risk and return go hand in hand. High risk, high return, low risk, low return. Then you start saying about equity, bond and both bond A and B. According to me, that's what we written. Five marks, so eight minutes, seven to eight minutes. Your writing time will be 7 to 8 minutes. Seven to eight minutes we need to write the answer. Whenever you will be doing the paper in a time frame, three hours, your understanding not only on the syllabus, but your speed will also be catching up. You will find that in the exam you will be able to solve the paper less than the time allowed. So bringing the speed, this is very essential. Only a study will not make us pass. I always say that there are some students who are not studying very well. The time they have given less, but they pass. But there are students who are studying 10 hours in a day, but still they find problem in passing the exam. So study is one thing. Passing the exam is second thing. Both are a different technique. For one month, don't think about knowledge or anything. For one month, think about how can I pass the exam with good marks. Up till now, whenever we were studying, I said always concept, concept, concept. Now for one month, forget the concept. For one month, just concentrate on passing the exam. What are the things I should be doing so that I can pass easily? Because whatever we have studied up till now, that is giving so many concepts. There is a trade-off between risk and return on F company's capital instruments. Investors in riskier assets require a higher return in comparison to this additional risk. Risk and return go hand in hand. In the case of our assets, first paragraph is explaining risk and return. In the case of ordinary share, investors rank behind all other sources of finance in the event of liquidation. So are the more risky capital instruments. This is partly why F company's cost of equity is more expensive. So first paragraph, the introduction, that is what is risk and return. Second paragraph. Similarly, for debt financing, the higher risk borrower must pay higher rate of interest on their borrowing to compensate lenders for the greater risk involved. F company has two bonds, bond A, having the higher interest rate and therefore the higher risk. Since the bond B were issued at the same time, business risk is not a factor in the higher level. Because it is by the same company, they are saying that bond A 9%, bond B 8%. Why? That means the interest rate is itself saying that the bond A is more riskier. Otherwise, why the company will pay 9%? That I have not said. Instead, this additional risk is likely to be due to the fact that bond A has a greater time to maturity. That I said. Meaning that its cash flows are more uncertain than bond B. In particularly, where interest rates are expected to increase in future, longer term debts will have a higher rate of interest to compensate investors for investing for a longer period bond. What they are saying? If the longer term bonds is there, you will be getting interest, you can reinvest. But in the short term bonds, the reinvestment will be very less. A further factor is that the total nominal value of bond A is twice as large. That also I have not said. The bond A is 20 million, bond A is 10 million, twice. And therefore may be perceived to be more riskier. That the money to be repaid is more. Discussion of equity, one, debt and 
recognizing business risk is not relevant with discussion of equity one debt and recognizing business risk is not relevant that is writing that the bond a and b are don't have a different business risk is also giving one mark time until maturity one mark different value of the bond one mark other relevant discussion one mark now in other relevant discussion whether they will consider secured unsecured i don't know according to me no reason being that they are named as bond bond technical meaning a bond is secured so if i will say that this bond is secured this bond is unsecured i think that is not justified because bond means secured bonds it is not public deposits we say public debt as unsecured but bond we always say as secured for that reason other relevant discussion they are saying what other relevant discussion can we can give it's you can say that here they are giving five marks on one by one point so if i am covering that then i will be getting marks otherwise not suppose i am discussing the equity i am discussing the two bonds because of the reason i am discussing that the risk is same because business risk is same because they are issued by the same company so three marks i will not be getting five because for five marks they are asking one by one point if i am the examiner i have been instructed by the institute by the head examiners that the marking will be one by one on this i will be looking at the answer that only but i cannot say that every student will be writing the comma full stop this only how can any student will write the same answer the write up will be different but whether they have covered the write up which is required for giving the marks that i need to see now before proceeding further shruti was asking sorry i think one second so shruti was asking i have a doubt from economic environment what is crowding out issue traditional theory depends on nature of investor i need to read that general meaning of crowding out i know but i need to read there what they have written from economic environment what is crowding out crowding out oh sorry traditional theory is something else crowding out of investments actually in economic environment they have mentioned about economy government function investment borrowing and all that crowding out means the investors are not interested in the investment but i need to read there what is written so i go there because i am thinking that part a and b of this one we will be doing in the next class part a and b of this one we will be doing in the next class you can do the mock papers by going into the practice test and i will share the mock papers in 2 3 days my mock papers are mostly ready one mock paper set i will be giving which is topic wise in every topic you can revise and the another mock paper like this obviously it will not be opening in the software that you need to bear you will be using the normal excel and all that but you should be using that functions only which is allowed don't add column row delete column row that is not allowed in exam but the basic formulas of excel will be working crowding out of investment means according to me it is um, the people are not interested in the investment let me open the material is 392 one second
it is under fiscal policy two difficulties associated fiscal policy have dominated about macroeconomic environment in this and the problem of crowding out and the incentive effect of taxation both have had a major impact on way in which fiscal policy has been conducted it is suggested that fiscal policy can lead to financial crowding out whereby government borrowing leads to fall in the private investment whereby government borrowings leads to fall in private investments this occurs because increased borrowing leads to higher interest rates by creating a greater demand for money and loanable funds and hence a higher price the private sector which is sensitive to interest rate will then reduce investments due to a lower rate of return this is the investment this is crowded out they are saying that suppose the government is increasing more and more borrowings so in the market government is taking most of the money now if i am a businessman when i want to in do a project i require money but since government is taking most of the money from the market then in that case money available in the market is less so my when i am when i am doing going to do a project the cost of funds is increasing so i am not doing the project because of that so because of the government borrowings more and more the funds available in the market reduces and the private persons are not able to do the projects so the government is borrowing why because government is not increasing money supply but the government is borrowing money then in that case government projects you can say infrastructure education secure social security security of the country for that government needs fund but when the government borrow more and more money in the market money supply goes down the businessman the private persons not interested in doing the business activities expansion which is possible when the cost would have been lower that they are saying the weakening of the fixed investment and other interest sensitive expenditure contracts the economy boosting benefits of government is spending government is borrowing because government want to expend the money to boost the economy but that adversely affect because of the crowding out effect that they are saying more important a fall in the fixed investment by business so government is doing investment but the private investments in the country will reduce because the cost of funds has gone up doubt at this over the likely size of any crowding out effect that means the government need to decide how much borrowing they can do so that the private investment will not be jeopardized however when the economy is depressed and there is not much new private sector investment government spending program could be give a boost like in corona the private investments are already very down so in this time if the government will be doing more and more borrowing and investment that is better so crowding out means the government borrowing reduces the money supply in the market so the private investors the companies corporates are not arranging funds for doing the project because the cost is high so government is doing borrowing because of government projects for boosting the economy but that creates adverse effect on the environment that they are saying fiscal effect so we will be doing in the next class this paper the part a and b that will be our objective and then we will be doing one mock paper either from practice i will not do practice paper because that you can do on software i will be doing mock papers later after the next class or maybe in the next class if the time permits i will be doing papers from here past cbe exams in the past cbe exams the paper many times not full like it's a sample it's not a 100 marks paper it's not a 100 marks paper most of the papers are not 100 marks and it is not exactly the same question which came in exam sample means they have changed slightly the questions they have not given the 100 marks paper like that so after doing this i mean to say the paper which we are doing today after completing this paper i will be going here so that you all can get the paper of 300 100 marks 3 hour fully from the practice paper from whatever i will give so you will be able to try four five papers on your own 3 hours each and i will be doing in the class these things and whatever doubts are there okay
if anything to ask then ask otherwise we are leaving for today so thank you to all of you study hard and please study on institute website everything don't study from exam kit study text that time is gone that you will study based on institute website even though you are giving one subject exam two subject three subject whatever okay thank you to all of you take care